Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I hope that you're doing well. I have this kit called Beautiful Day by Saucy Stickers Co. And I haven't used one of her kits in a while. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of premium matte paper and I prefer premium matte paper. And I did struggle because she just uses matte paper, which is still really beautiful, but I just struggle with the corners lifting. And um, even when I'm planning, I'll have like the sheets laid out and I'll start seeing the ends curling. And uh, I notice like my ruler gets caught on it and stuff too. So it's just like a very small minor thing. And it's just an adjustment using a different kind of paper. But I also know why some shops don't use premium matte paper. It's not very healthy. And um, from what I understand, like it can cause a lot of like allergies and just like reactions because of the dust and all that stuff, which to each their own, like do what you got to do. And your health is definitely way more important and just your preference too. like, I totally get that. And some people love this kind of paper. So it just really depends on your preference. Um, she does not offer premium matte paper. She does offer this uh, regular matte paper and then transparent matte from what I've seen. So with that being said, I still love this kit. I had to use it. It's incredibly stunning. It's so beautiful. Like this was such an, an ease to plan with. It was so much fun. I loved all of the extra journaling elements that were just large statements such as the one in the month section. And I really loved her torn paper page and add-on. It had a bunch of fun shapes and torn papers and edges and grid and it was just so so pretty and fun to plan with. So with that being said, I was feeling like answering some questions. I just feel like talking about plans has been kind of redundant and this week was honestly nothing crazy or special. So hopefully it's okay that I just do a combination of probably both. And with the day cover section, I decided to do something a little bit more minimal and just use the day covers that came with the kit because I did really like them. I love the font and I loved the size and then I also just wanted to put some larger and smaller floral pieces and just have some white space. I just loved how airy and beautiful that looked. So let's see here. Um, okay, so Candace asked, what's your favorite gift you've ever given someone? Oh, that's a really good question. My favorite gift I've ever given someone. Oh my gosh, I, I wish I thought about this. <laughs> I really wish I thought about this. This is really tough. I'll have to kind of go back to that one. Um, Jen asked, where will you vacation next? We're actually going to Chicago and next month in April. So really excited. I'm going to meet a planner friend and then also just excited to visit Chicago. I've never been. If you have any recommendations or if you're from Chicago or have visited, let us know. Um, and when I say us, I mean Greg and I. <laughs> let us know and we'll certainly um, look at different areas and uh, if you have recommendations on like restaurants or places to go, museums, etc. Let me know. Um, I'm excited and when we're going, I don't think it'll be super cold, which I'm also not like afraid of either like I have winter coat so it's not a big deal I'll probably bring like one main I'll probably bring my trench coat if I'm being honest because that keeps me the warmest and I think it also looks cute with outfits and all that good stuff so it just depends I'm definitely going to check out the weather um the week before before I decide <laughs> but Chicago so excited again drop down recommendations and let us know uh Jay Hart Stationery she asked Dream home if money wasn't an issue, uh, rooms, bathrooms, style, luxury items, pool, hot tub, etc. Oh, wow. Um, dream home. For me, I've always wanted a home. Actually, we just looked at our wedding venue and um, you guys could actually see. I'll, I'll probably upload that in a vlog for, for the month of March. But uh, we just looked at a wedding venue, so I haven't really talked about this too much. But I'll talk about that more when I kind of get into the week of when I did more of the planning and when we kind of started. Um, so the wedding venue we're going to, the, the, the couple, they own all of this land in a very rural area right next to a lake and it's just beautiful. Like for me, I would, I would love like three to four rooms. Um, cause I love having like an extra guest room, maybe three to five rooms, um, extra guest rooms. And then also like offices and depending if I'm still doing like a business or crafts and stuff like that, I would love to have, like, let those have their own space. And definitely three bathrooms, um, maybe even four, just really depends. But I'm totally content, like minimum three, because I currently have three bathrooms right now as well. And it's just, it's such a help because <laughs> my sister lives with me. And then like, um, you know, we always have family visiting and friends vi visiting and things like that. And let's see, for, I, I love a pool, but I don't really like feel like I care or need to have one. Um, I just love the view of like water that's not the 
the ocean like nothing against the beach I've just been around it so much my whole life like I just I've learned to really love like lakes and rivers and like mountains and stuff and it's just become my preference as I gotten older but I really love the the view of a lake or just water and just very like calm and peaceful away from um a bunch of people like I really love <laughs> kind of just being secluded and it's just my preference and I just I just love the idea of having like a lot of land and it just it's very peaceful for me that's that's my ideal home um I would prefer like a ranch I don't really want to have stairs in the house like currently right now I have a ranch it's like a half ranch there's like um seven steps that go up to a loft and then the attic but all the rooms and bathrooms are all on the first floor um and I prefer a ranch just for you know if it ends up becoming like my retirement home I don't want to have to go up and down stairs and I don't know I'm also like lazy I don't really want to go upstairs if I don't have to and then like you know carrying stuff around it just it becomes a hassle like furniture all of that stuff but style um I don't know I just I don't know if I really I just want something like clean and simple um and I used to be like super farmhouse a while ago but then now it's just kind of I don't know it's like a mixture of like boho and then just modern just clean um I love having like green and plants in my house um, not too much but a little bit and then also I really just enjoy neutrals like lots of creams and tans black and whites um, and then the pop of green is kind of like my preference in color by the way the camera with my phone on the left hand corner I was doing a live with Tay Alicia and Regina on Saturday to promote the spring fling international women's sale so that's what that is <laughs> I do apologize um okay so I hope that answers the question. Really just like a one-story home, um, three, to f uh, three to five bedrooms, preferably, I feel like, no, I think three is still too too little, but uh, four to five bedrooms, um, three bathrooms, and uh, a view of the water. Like, I prefer a lake. I love the view of a lake. It's just something so calm and peaceful about it, and it's not like a full beach and ocean with all the sand, you know what I mean? And I just love the idea of like having two like lawn chairs that you could just like sit out there and just like have your coffee or read a book and just listen to a podcast or just relax and take in nature and it's just really nice and I love the idea of also being in a place where there's like all four seasons because I do want to be able to um like I don't want to sit outside when it's like scolding hot you know but <laughs> then also I do love like fall weather and that kind of stuff like that's really enjoyable but whenever I do show the vlog I think you guys will kind of see like she has like my um one of my best friends is a wedding planner and she's actually doing our wedding for us but she she was telling me like it's also her dream home and also exactly the way this lady has decorated her inside her home is identical to like my best friend's style which is definitely more like vintage um lots of like um classic pieces stuff like that I don't know how to describe it like lots of like china like things like that but I'm probably way off I'm really not like HGTV certified whatsoever but I just I just really did appreciate how clean and like orderly her stuff was there wasn't too much stuff everywhere like that's for me like I, if I could have it my way it would be just very simplified I like the idea of be, being able to lift up like a vase and then cleaning under it like I don't have to clean a, like take a bunch of clutter off of a surface and then wipe it down because that is a lot of work it's stressful like clutter stresses me out um it really bothers me. <laughs> anyway, so that's my idea of a dream home. I know that was a long-winded uh, question or answer. She also asked, since you and Tay live in different states, how does handling inventory and packing orders work? So we actually have a um, shipping and distribution company that we work with, and they handle all of that. So we do all of, we pretty much run our business online and over like the phone and stuff like that. So it's been a pretty seamless process thus far, and we have a really great partnership. So that's how we handle it. Uh, freckled girl Danielle plans she asked share your fitness routine so my fitness routine and journey has been like a roller coaster to say the least right like growing up and I know this is like a super long dragged out answer but growing up I've always been in sports um, I always excelled in whatever PE like advanced sports class I was in I also did dance my whole life and then um just I was always in different kinds of sports like I played volleyball soccer rugby I did track and field not the sprinting or running but like the javelin shot put discus um and I just like was always really athletic growing up and so that I never really um like did weight training until I went into college 
And that's when I started doing weight training, like traditional bodybuilding. And then I dabbled in some like CrossFit and like Olympic lifting and powerlifting, just weight training. It's just been really fun. Um, and then after that, I feel like after college, I continued to still do that. And throughout all of that, I would still, you know, dabble in like Tabata kind of exercises, which is like um, 20 minutes, like seconds on and off or something like that. It just depends on the time restraint you want to give yourself. But it's like a HIT style uh, workout where it's high intensity interval training. And then I'd also do like LIS, which is uh, low impact steady state training, which is also like just going on the elliptical or a treadmill for a long period of time, like 30 minutes to like an hour. Um, it's low impact, steady state, but you're burning a lot of calories because of the longevity of your exercise and movement. Um, so it's always been like that. I've also done yoga and Pilates, and I've done a bunch of like different things. And I did boxing as well when I was younger. So I've dabbled in a lot of different styles of sport and like um, training. But now, like there was a time where I like kind of fell off the wagon, um, maybe three years after college, and I just was really inconsistent with training. It felt like a chore. I wasn't like into it life got in the way um but currently i've been the most consistent i've ever been in the past like four years and i'm so proud of myself um like i have a garage gym so usually at home i don't have like all the weights in the world but i have like the basics right like i have a barbell with different bumper plates um those are just the rubber plates so that when you drop them they don't make too much noise and they don't damage anything and then um i have some dumbbells that go up to like I think it's 35 or 40 pounds and I have lots of like bands and then I have an elliptical and a treadmill. I Greg just got me a Roman chair to be able to do like tricep dips, um, ab workouts and like pull-ups and stuff like that. So I have a very great variety and I just bought myself a landmine attachment. So that's really cool that I can use that with my barbell. But my fitness routine basically just comprises of um, I try to work out six days a week, five to six days a week. And I recently got a gym membership because one of my friends, um, the one I told you guys, I got, I became friends with my dental hygienist. She asked if I could start working out with her and, and helping her um, in her form and her weight training. So that convinced me to get a membership again, which I never thought I would do. Um, but it's kind of cool because we try to go like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, at least on weekends. And then on the weekdays, I'll work out at my home gym. Um, with the exception of last night, I did go with them yesterday just because I was in the mood. And so for me, it's like I walk Jace every day or as much as possible, depending on the weather. But for the most part, even if it's snowing or um, he does not like rain. So that's usually on him. But <laughs> um, even if it's snowing, I'll still take my dog, my dog on a walk. But if it's raining, he doesn't want to deal with it. Um, but I love to just I just like to like to move. Honestly, I'll usually do like cardio for a long period of time. I'll just pop on a video on YouTube or something. And I'll do cardio for a minimum of 30 minutes and up to an hour. And on um, and then sometimes if I do less cardio, I'll also implement um, like a like weight training. And it's usually specific muscle groups, like your traditional muscle groups. Like I'll do chest and triceps and then back and biceps. I'll usually do shoulders and abs with cardio. And then I'll do legs, of course. But I try to do legs and I'll focus mostly on um, like glutes and hamstrings because I'm already quad heavy. I feel like I already have such large quad muscles. Like I don't really want to put do too much more on there. And then I also have like um, a cyst in my knee. So I try to be very mindful of certain like kind of um, movements that are um, dangerous for my knee. <laughs> so, but then yesterday when we trained, we did more of like a CrossFit wad and, um, or that's the workout of the day, but like a CrossFit hit style workout where we just did this one, um, uh, circuit for like for 30 minutes and very minimal breaks in between we just kept going we would we did um shoulder push presses front squats and then uh jump rope so it was like 100 turns each each round and we just kept going until we were like until 30 minutes was up so it's kind of like a um I guess it's like is that considered an AMRAP I don't know I'm not a CrossFit person but as many reps as possible um or until like a time stops or something like that but Sorry, the actual word is just, it's lost. But yeah, so that's kind of my fitness journey. It, I really do go between muscle groups. And if I'm feeling sore, the biggest thing for me is I listen to my body. Like if I'm not in the mood to weight train, I'm going to do something I'm going to enjoy. And this is the piece of advice I would give to anybody is if you are not, if you're just starting your uh, your workout journey and your fitness journey, 
and or if you're just trying to get back onto it and you're kind of feeling like you're in a rut because I've definitely experienced all those things. Um, the biggest thing for me is do what you're in the mood for and what you're feeling. You never want to hate something and have a bad relationship with it. Just like I've had, for example, with food, like I've had to learn to have stuff in moderation because if I completely cut it out, um, I'm going to be miserable and then I might end up binging. And then when it comes to like weight training or just, sorry, um, fitness, if I don't want to weight train, like there was a period that I was just doing cardio. Like I was literally only doing cardio and you guys probably saw it in my planner, right? Like I would literally just be watching YouTube videos while I do cardio on the elliptical for hours. And, um, when I say hours, like an hour a day or like four to five days a week or something, because I just didn't feel like weight training at all. Or my injury with my pinched nerve was so bad that like, it just was not enjoyable. But now that I'm kind of getting more into weight training again, a lot has to do with the fact that I went through physical therapy and I got significantly better. And I have all the tools to, to like work on the pain and manage the pain. But um, just do what you are in the mood to do. And what you're able to do. Like do not push yourself and overexert yourself and because you're going to regret it, you're going to have a negative relationship with whatever it is that you're trying to do. Like if you're not a runner, don't force yourself to go run because you're just, you know, if you don't like it, you're just going to validate the fact that you don't like it and you're never going to do it again, right? And do take baby steps, do your research, make sure you're um, consulting with a doctor or a coach or a physical therapist or someone that is experienced and a pro in what you're trying to do. Just be very careful. And for me, it's just, it, it just varies. It just depends on what I want to do at the time. Um, and having friends to work out with has definitely changed. I never thought I would enjoy working out with people because I normally didn't, but it really has reinvigorated my love for weight training again and like going and being more consistent with weight training. And it's fun because it really you know, muscle memory is there and then it's just nice to be able to help my friends and make sure that we're holding each other accountable because not only am I holding them accountable, but them doing the workout with me is holding me accountable as well. So yeah, that's kind of what it's been. It's been like muscle groups, uh, like the ones I mentioned earlier, and then I'll definitely throw in cardio days as well on days that I'm doing like an active rest day or just not in the mood to weight train. Um, or I don't have like a lot of time, but usually if I don't have a lot of time, I'll incorporate like a really quick hit, which is like 20 minutes or so. But for me, it's just been, I've, I'm just in a place where I enjoy fitness so much that I'll just, I always will make time for it. And it's become a routine and a habit for me where it's a, it's a positive and great habit, right? Where it's, I feel weird if I don't do some form of movement. And that's definitely helped with keeping a consistent fitness routine. That was a long winded answer. I'm so sorry, Daniel. <laughs> but hopefully that um, that answered the question here. Um, Haley plans, she asked favorite season to plan and least favorite season to plan. My least favorite season to plan is summer. Always kind of has been. It's just because of the colors. They're not usually something I gravitate towards. Uh, my favorite season to plan used to be fall. Last fall, I wasn't really feeling it. It might have been the kits or it might have just been the season. I don't know. But um, I think currently, like, my favorite season to plan, oh, man, I don't know. It's a tie between, like, winter and spring. But I think I think probably spring just because I get really excited to use, like, all the little bees and the trails and, like, the different flowers. Like, they're just really fun to, to plan with. And I think the colors are a lot more, um, like, are starting to become more like my style. And, you know, I feel like there's a lot more greens also in spring. So that's kind of my, my thing for me, summer, it's just, it's just usually too bright and I can't, it's just not my style, you know, nothing wrong with it if you enjoy it, but just not my style. Um, so thanks for that question. I will certainly, uh, answer the rest of the questions. I think I have four more and I'll definitely get back to Candace's question about my favorite gift I've ever given someone. I just need to remember all the gifts I've given to people. <laughs> and. I just, it's a really hard question for me to answer because I feel like I, I really want to think through all of them. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. So sorry if it was not your preference because I answered questions. I know some people like to just hear me talk about the plans and I'll certainly continue to do that. But I needed a change of pace for myself just because a lot of my plans were pretty redundant. That You know, the next weeks I'll be planning. They're just kind of, you know, a little bit boring, the same usual stuff and just like day-to-day -day stuff. But, um, 
yeah, anyways, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed and this was such a beautiful kit to plan with. I had so much fun. Oh, this wasn't a boring week. I'm so sorry. I actually went out of town to visit one of my best friends. And then we went to dinner the, the night before with another set of good friends. But um, other than that, it was pretty laid back. So yeah, but thanks so much for watching. I hope that you're doing well. And um, do not forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions, comment below. Again, if you're from Chicago or have been to Chicago, drop some recommendations for places to eat places to visit and just to hang out. Like I would love anything and everything. So yeah, take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.